What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over how to prepare for new content. There's a ton of different ways we're getting into it. Before we get into it, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and all that good stuff. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video to continue some videos, obviously. Um, 100 likes would be greatly appreciated. If we keep hitting on 100 likes, bro, we're literally going to do a sick empty giveaway on Xbox for PS4 users. We're probably just going to give you like 10 to $20 if you do win. And you could get MT off my sponsor if you would like, or you could just get VC and get scammed. Um, but yo, um... Let's go over what I think is going to go down tomorrow, what I think we should do MT-wise and all that good stuff. So, honestly, I can see a dope super super pack coming out tomorrow. Honestly, super pack sounds kind of deadly. I could definitely see a super pack coming. Why do I say this? Um, I don't know. Someone was mentioning how they dropped like a ton of packs before the tournament. Um, I don't know, but obviously they got to drop some fire right before the tournament so people do get stacked teams. I really think uh, that 250k tournament, a lot of people are trying to get stacked teams. I heard that last time they released fire, fire packs. So we're going to see what they drop. I think they have a chance of dropping really good packs. We shall see if they drop packs, which I think they 110% will. They want to make money. Um, they're going to be really good. They're probably going to be super packs. If super pack drops, if you're going to make, if you want to make thousands of thousands of MT, like I said, you sell your team. And you pick up whatever's in the super pack. So, for instance, let's say there's a pink diamond Zion in the super packs. You want to buy as many Zions as possible for like 60k. And then you're going to sell them for 90k a couple days later or even a day later. Even if it goes up 10k, it's still W. Super packs are golden. Super packs are the best cards to invest in. Super packs are what makes everything better. Like straight up, if you want to make thousands and thousands of MT, you pay attention to prices in the super packs. I've made thousands and thousands of MT. If you guys remember when Legacy Super Packs were out, I bought every single card in the Legacy Super Pack. And what happened? I made 100,000 MT in one sitting. In one hour, in like 10 minutes. Literally, I would say like an hour after the Super Pack comes out or even right when it comes out. You get on a snipe filter, you snipe, you just watch the price go down and you pick up as many cards as possible. Almost certain a super pack of some type, some type does come out tomorrow. Almost certain. So we got super packs. We got new content. Honestly, what kind of super pack is it going to be? It could be a super pack of all types of challenge, uh, of collections, I'm guessing. So like ready, we could have a spotlight pack of leap year, uh, buzzer beater. We can have a buzzer beater super pack. I can see that happening. If we have a buzzer beater super pack, we got curry in it, Kareem. Hewing, Jamal Crawford, Avery Bradley, uh, Pete Maravich. There's a lot of cards. De'Aaron Fox. And if we do get one, that would be absolutely dope. Um, personally, if we do see a buzzer beater super pack, Kareem's going to probably go down to 300 to 250. What he does, you want to pick him up because that card is so rare. All those opals, the buzzer beater opals, if you could get them for the low, they're so rare. Not only that, if a buzzer beater super pack does drop... You're going to see everybody on the Opal thing drop. Everyone is going to drop on the buzzer beaters. You want to pick up as many Avery Bradleys as you can, as many Maraviches as you can, and you're going to make a lot of MT that way. Um, I only have a mil. I mean, only. A mil still a lot, but I'm about to sell everybody. have about 3.5 mil sitting here. Um, it's only a matter of time before Point Guard Galaxy Opal Giannis comes out. It's only a matter of time before a better, um, a card better than Ben Simmons at Point Guard comes out. There's a lot of cards that could possibly come out. And by me preparing you and sell, telling you guys to sell cards, you should really take that offer and really do it. Because if you guys know, man, as we're getting closer and closer to endgame, from here on out, it's going to be a market crash. There's not a lot of things are going to rise. Only certain investments. Only certain things. Also, I could see a Galaxy Opal. Some, I'm going to actually name some legends that we have not gotten yet. So 
We have no Gio Hakeem. We have no Gio. Um, what's it called? What's his name? Carl Malone. No Opal Paul Pierce. Um, what else do we got? We got a lot of cards that have no Opals. Like, I mean a lot. I can't even think right now for some reason. I can honestly just look at my collection. Um, hmm. Ben Simmons, Manute, Embiid. No Opal Blake Griffin. No Opal Perzingis. Um, there's a lot of no Opal Sean Marion. That's one card I'm going to love, love, love. That card is going to be sick. Um, there's a lot of cards like um, that Pascal Siakam. Uh, we got Ingram. He should get an Opal this year. Lonzo has no pink diamond. Lonzo's definitely going to get a, like a um, an Opal. Zion's probably going to get an Opal. There's a lot of cards that are going to get Opals. Like You could literally go through Legends that haven't even got Opals. Um, there's a lot. So since there is a lot of Opals coming, you guys got to stay prepared and try to make that NT by selling your cards now. Friday's probably going to be a really big day. I see flashbacks. I see really juice flashbacks. If you remember... Uh, I would say two months ago was it? I think it was February, bro. They dropped the Opals, the MJ, the MJ and the Vince Carter. Those packs were juiced. They're gonna drop something like that sooner or later with a diamond that's very investable. So honestly, since there's a lot of Opals coming out, it kind of decreases the diamond value. It's probably around 3k instead of seeing the max value at 4k. The, it's gonna probably be at around 3k. With that being said, the investment for the new diamond that comes out Friday is going to be golden. So whatever the diamond is, he's probably going to be OP. Um, I don't know what it could be, but whatever it is, you got to pay attention to it. Because that diamond card is going to be very key for investing. You can invest as much MT as you want in that diamond card. As long as you do it at the right time, as long as you snipe it out, you're going to make tons of MT. The diamond card, if they do drop flash packs, is probably going to be 5k MT. We haven't had flash packs in a minute. First off, I think flash has their biggest pull money-wise. And if we get flash super packs or super packs of some sort, we could have a new promo. What kind of promo? I don't know. It's April. Maybe some April promo. Maybe. I don't know if they did an April Fool's promo last year. I really didn't play last year. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know because you never know. You never know what, what could actually happen. And honestly, I'm kind of kind of hyped for Friday. Um, if I have like 2 mil MT sitting here, the investments, the packs, they're going to be all... Oh, I botched it. There it is. Wow, that was the slowest snipe ever. That's a dub. Oh, man, that sucks. Alrighty, so just missed a taco snipe. I'm trash at sniping. No, why? Um, Just missed out on like 100k clean. What are we going to do? Um, Right now, I'm just going to say this. If you don't want to listen to me, just honestly, you're, you're fine. If you don't. Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter has been really hot. It's obviously really competitive. If you don't like it... I'm just going to say one thing. If you invested in Jahil Okafor in them, you made thousands of MT. If you invest, they're all up a thousand MT plus. If you want to hop on the Ami filter, the Diamond filter, whatever. Oh, that's a good snipe. Oh my God, bro. How fat? I swear my stuff's delayed. That was a really good snipe. The Ami filter's back and better than ever. Jahil Okafor and all of them are back up to price. That one's done too. Um... You should really hop on this filter. It's really good. Just stay away from Jokic, Carly Towns. And these cards always drop to around 1,300 MT. If you pick them up, you're going to make a lot of MT. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Can, can I like... Ah, wow. This is embarrassing. But yeah, this Ami filter is back in action. It's ready to roll. We got that in bead right there. It goes for like 2,200. A little MT made. But yo, as you can see, a ton of snipes pop up every time I refresh. This is the best snipe filter in the game. And this is the snipe filter I want you guys to do when you sell cards. And yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Oh, that's a snipe. Wow, okay. Um, If you guys do get Wilt, let me know down below. I will honestly try to go for him. It's probably not going to end up well. We shall see. Um, I'm trying to get better at the game. I've been running a lot of more plays. I've been practicing. Hopefully, we do win. And 11-12, you get Baron and Amir Stodem Amari Stoudemire. That is sick. So we are definitely all way. That's so dumb. So if you go 11 and 1, you get Amari. If you go 12 and. Oh my god, this game, bro. The rewards suck. But yeah, that's all I got for the video. Hopefully, we do see some new content coming. I really do. Hope we do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got for today. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed.